Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Let's get some insight into your situation. All right, let's see what is being hidden from you. What's being hidden from you? We have financial support, child, alimony, or government. Okay. All right, what's your past energy? The past energy. We have desire in reverse, lust and sexual chemistry. There could be another fire sign um, that you are connected to in your past that you no longer feel interested in. Since the desire is in reverse, somebody you've lost desire for, a desire for. What's the present energy? The present energy is magnetic, unexplained pull, and can't resist. Okay. So this looks like some kind of relationship and attraction. Some of you could be in a very um, magnetic connection with someone, like you two feel pulled to each other, or this could be coming in in the present moment. Maybe you haven't met this person yet, but you're ready for it. Okay, what's your advice? Your advice is entrapment, pregnancy, money, and heartstrings. Okay. You know, when I look at financial support, child alimony, government, and then the advice is pregnancy and entrapment. I wonder if somebody that you were dealing with that you no longer have a desire for got somebody else pregnant. And maybe this is why you're moving on. What's the likely outcome here? We have self-worth, expectations, and the overall energy is verge, about to reveal or confess. Oh, y'all. So somebody could be about to confess or reveal something to you for some of you it's on the good side it's a, an attraction to you somebody that feels a pull to you that they can't resist anymore all right i love that you're like the outcome is self-worth and expectations so somebody could be about to spill the tea they're pouring tea in this cup somebody could be about to express their feelings to you or some of you there's a situation here somebody made a baby somewhere else we haven't picked this energy up in a long time. So I'm feeling like this is definitely past energy. I don't think this is something... I don't even think this is something you don't know about. If it's your story, you already know about this, most likely. What's concealed? Because we have financial support, child alimony, and government being concealed. All right, so we have the chariot. Wow. So this is something coming in quickly. Somebody could also rush into another commitment. The chariot does represent a conquest. It can be like a one-night stand. With cancer energy. Okay, and then we have the Four of Swords here. Some of you could be waiting for some money on the more positive side. You could be waiting for some money that's actually racing towards you right now. Four of Swords is Libra season. So this could be something that's happening in Libra season for some of you. So you might be expecting money on um, anywhere between October 13th and the 22nd because that's the Four of Swords energy. Okay. This could also be a Libra or a Cancer person you were dealing with. What is this? What's the chariot? Oh, the Six of Wands. Leo, this is your energy. You know, I feel like for some of you, there could be something going on with the car, transportation. You're getting victory in court. You're getting victory when it comes to a financial situation. Hmm. There could be some financial support coming in for you that you don't expect. What is this Six of Wands? You got two cards. Oh, you got the Seven of Wands and the King of Pentacles. This is some kind of financial security coming in. Also, this could be somebody wanting to invest in you. I'm telling you, Leo. You have Taurus and Leo energy showing up here. So this is like maybe the, the King of Pentacles representing some kind of abundance or money coming in that you don't expect. Something maybe that you've been waiting for and it finally comes through. Others of you, the King of Pentacles is a father figure. So some of you could be blocking somebody here that got somebody else pregnant. It's so many different stories. I don't even know where to go with this. Because I feel like there's several different scenarios. So for some of you, somebody rushed into another relationship. This was this is what was concealed from you. I don't think it's still concealed from you. I think you know about this person. I feel like you moved on. You blocked somebody because they did this to you. Others of you... This is money coming in. Maybe you feel a little bit restricted. You feel like your back is against the wall financially and there's something that's, a, that's about to come through for you that you're not expecting, which is nice. Okay. 
All right, let's move on. What happened in the past? Why are you no longer desiring somebody? Oh, the tower. Yeah, you had a tower moment with someone. Scorpio, Aries energy. That could have been a really explosive argument. That could have been a sudden breakup with someone. Um, divorce, pains. For some of you, financial loss. Could be a job that you no longer feel passionate about. Something destructive happened that you didn't expect. We have the lovers. Why do you have two majors? Could involve a Gemini. So it looks like this is a situation that involves a relationship that suddenly ended. Could have been somebody that broke your heart. This could even be an abusive relationship for some of you that you have come out of. Or you feel like you've lost a lot. Something just kind of like shattered your world here. Could have even been... Um, I don't know. It just feels like something kind of happened out of a out of the blue. Out of the blue. Yeah, so we have the Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Definitely... Given me that you have a little bit of PTSD when it comes to a relationship. This was an ongoing battle. It reached its peak. Maybe you had an explosive argument. You two decided to call it quits. Somebody could have just abruptly left your life here. Let's move on from them. Okay, what's the present energy? So somebody you're really attracted to. Yes, the fool, the three of wands, an Aries or an Aquarius person. Somebody is ready to sweep you off of your feet. Whoever this person is, you could meet them online or they could be at a distance. This is somebody that's open to exploring more with you. Maybe you don't know them yet. What else? Let's see more about this person. You got the justice card. Could be a Libra person. This is somebody that's balanced that meets you halfway. Wow. Person can have a Libra Venus placement, doesn't have to be um, their sun sign. This person is fun. And then we have the devil. Mm, so definitely I'm seeing the energy of somebody maybe being a little bit obsessed with you because it says unexplained pull and can't resist with the devil. So this is somebody here that's trying to control themselves, even though they feel like they're losing that battle. <laughs> this is the person with a, you know, trying to have a poker face, but they really desire you. They feel seduced by you. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody trying to work through maybe their anxiety to approach you. Mm. And the feminine is in the lead in this card. So it, 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 it appears that somebody is looking at you as very powerful and they're drawn to you. But you may intimidate them just a little bit. A Gemini and Aquarius for some of you. That's nice. So some of you could be talking to someone right now and it's like really sweeping you off of your feet. Or this is who's coming towards you. And like the very near future. What's your advice? What's going on with this pregnancy? It says entrapment. I don't like that. So what is that? Yeah, the magician. Oh, yeah. S somebody here that you were connected to. Some of y'all. Got taken. Got got sucked into a pregnancy. King of Swords. This could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Virgo person that you were dealing with. Maybe you have a child or children with them as well. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. I, I kind of, oh, Pisces person. It feels like somebody here um, made a decision. They could have even left to be with this other person, making a head over heart decision because they got them pregnant. Or somebody could have been using sex magic or something on them. I feel like somebody got lured away. But somebody here, that ain't everybody's story. Yeah, the Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like there was a third party situation. Possibly a Libra or a Virgo is involved. It feels as if somebody here was talking to someone, getting to know someone. And even though I want to say it was slow, I don't feel like it was. Even though the Knight of Pentacles is here, I feel like this person was trying to respect maybe the relationship with you on some level, but they still went for it anyway. What's the magician? Because I, I feel like when I see swords with the magician, I think spell work. Because the swords are about, they can be about spell work. Yeah, you got the judgment card. I'm telling you, there was some... There was a, a desire for somebody not... It's like they didn't want to do it, but they did it anyway. Scorpio energy. Two of Cups. Cancer energy. And then the Hermit. Yeah, I feel like they... This is going to sound crazy. Like, this person thought about this before they did it. They contemplated. It, and it was not as if they went into it thinking, okay, I'm going to go cheat. But I feel like this was a person who knew they shouldn't do it, but they did it anyway. And like I said, that's very specific. Some of you call judgment on a marriage or relationship and you chose to, like, you know, take your energy away from the situation because they got somebody else pregnant. And now they got a lifelong commitment with a baby. I mean, that's that's on them. Okay, what's going on with this likely outcome? We have the Ace of Cups. I love it. You have new love. 
You have the Ten of Pentacles. Yes. Okay, so your self-love, your self-worth is bringing in your Ten of Pentacles. This is something with some staying power. This is something long-term. And that's also the Millionaire card, y'all. This is building with someone. Someone wanting you to meet their family. Someone wanting to give you their last name or take your last name. Have a family with you. If you two are too, you know, mature to have babies, like if you already have kids, blend your families. Yeah, Queen of Wands, this is you. Somebody is extremely attracted to your independence, your confidence, your go-getter energy, Leo. They feel a magnetic attraction to you. The Queen of Wands is literally a magnetic attraction. Somebody could be in a limelight here. That could be you. That could be the person you're attracting. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Somebody is really fantasizing about you. Your confidence is bringing somebody towards you, Scorpio. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, there's a co-worker that has their eye on you. It could be a Capricorn or it could play out in Capricorn season. There could be a three-year age difference between you two, maybe even up to 10 years. This person is very financially stable, somebody that wants to build, somebody who's a team player, somebody who knows how to be the perfect partner. All they want to do is make life easy for you. Whoever y'all have coming towards y'all is a solid person. They just keep showing up as a solid person. Yeah, you definitely had a conflict with someone who betrayed you. For some of you, I'm seeing a maternal figure show up here as well. Some of you don't speak to your mother. Yeah. Some of you have been independent since you were like 19 years old, I just heard. I don't know why, but I just heard that. But there's a strained relationship with someone's mother. And this is the reason why you've had to do some of the shadow work that you've had to do. Yeah, confirmation. So it feels like you have arrived. I like that. That sounds good to me. It feels like you've arrived. And if you haven't, this is what's coming towards you. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I will see you all tomorrow, most likely. Peace, y'all.